Hi, my name is Bernard Itoso. Welcome to this morning's edition of uh, the AM Sports. Uh, it's a Monday morning, obviously. We're going to tell you things that happened over the weekend. Here on the local scene was Ghana uh, Premier League matches, uh, match the seven. Also, in the international front, uh, three respective leagues, uh, the winners uh, were decided over the weekend in England, in France, and also we already know uh, that of Germany and in Holland. Something amazing happened there. Today, I'm doing the show with my colleague, Serena Saki. Serena, how are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm fine by God's grace. Thanks for asking. So we're going to go through what happened over the weekend. We start here on the local scene. The Ghana Premier League matches that were played over the weekend it actually started on Saturday with two games at the Cape Coast Stadium. Akwa Hearts of Folk. Uh, they played uh, to uh, home to Elmina Sharks, and that game ended 2-1 in favour of Elmina Sharks, and that is Akwa Hearts of Folk's third defeat in the ongoing Ghana Premier League. And also, Media Mercy neutralised on Saturday, and Media Ma won that game by a goal to nil. Bukum Chelsea. Bechim United ended 1-0 in favour of uh, Brukum Chelsea. Steven Amankoma with a goal for Brukum Chelsea. And Dream FC defeated Kumasi Asante Kotoko by a goal to nil at the Dewu Park. Just when we all thought that that game was going to end in a draw, uh, Dream FC left it very late and got that win. And uh, Ibusan Dos also defeated Liberty Professionals by two goals to one. Liberty took an early lead uh, from the spot. And then a Busan was equalized and then got the winning goal. So 2 1 ended at the Cape Coast Stadium yesterday. 11 Wonders. Wafa also ended 2 1 in favor of the home side. That's 11 Wonders. And Wow All Stars were at home to Kerala United. They lost that game by a goal to nil. Ashanti goal, the Diana Stars game postponed due to Diana Stars engagement in Africa. All right, so that was what happened in the Ghana Premier League over the weekend. So Ashanti Gold are still uh, on top of the league, 13 points, uh, despite not playing over the weekend. We have to hear the international scene, and we'll start with a Ghanaian player. Jordan Ayew played for Swan City this weekend. Well, he uh, returned uh, from uh, what uh, has been a, a suspension from the man uh, after the being out for three games. But yesterday was amazing from the young man, as when he got back, he scored for a Swan City side in their 1-1 draw with Everton. Two goal line clearances in the contest from Jake Tosin. Andre, are you getting his head to this though? Tammy Abraham and still Rooney just about getting a foot in. Not away convincingly yet though. Carroll, it will come. And there is the equalising goal. The pressure has paid off. Jordan, are you? Swansea's top scorer delivers a game when it matters most. 1-1 at the Liberty Stadium. They reacted so well. The double substitution. First of all, Nathan Dyer, then Sammy Abraham. Abraham's involved in it. I just can't quite get it clear. Seamus Coleman can't find it. Tom Carroll with a really good ball to find Jordan Ayew, who just waits patiently in a lovely area. Chess control, and he buries it into the bottom corner. Pass Pickford. So Jordan, you back from suspension with a goal in that game against Everton ended 1-1 and 7. You say that the confidence level of Jordan are you this season is absolute uh, on some amazing form. Yeah, if you look at the managers that have come through, Paul Clement has come, um, Kabahal also come in. They've not been working very well. Swansea have been playing badly, but he always stands out. He's been winning games for them. His performance looks better than other teammates. Even when um, his brother joined him, he's seen that it has raised his tempo higher because um, he's got motivation from him, obviously, and also they help each other. But Jordan Ayew, especially he himself alone, looks like somebody that can carry Swansea on his own. Mm, so what an amazing season Jordan Ayew is having for Swansea. It's seven goals uh, for the side in this season's English Premier League. Well, other matches were played. Uh, in the EPL uh, this weekend, but the top story from England is that Manchester City won the EPL title yesterday. Well, it wasn't yesterday they played, they played on Saturday against Tottenham Hotspur and won that game by three goals to one. By virtue of Manchester United's defeat uh, to West Bromwich Albion, well, that made Manchester City winners of this year's English Premier League. So we've got highlights of the Manchester City game as well as the Manchester United game. Front with depth, Dawson round the back, and snatched in by Jay Rodriguez! It's a goal which may win a title! It's a goal which has stunned and silenced Old Trafford! It is an unthinkable goal, and right now you can't tell the bottom from the top! 
Well, if anybody deserves a goal, it's Jay Rodriguez. But the problem was with Matic in losing out far post to Dawson. It's just a little peel off around the back. And, and he's just, in fact, it might have been Matic himself has helped it back into the six yard box. But he's under a lot of pressure from Dawson. It is, it's off Matic. And he's just taken a chance on it, Rodriguez. He's just gambled and got into the space. Manchester City are champions. The most contrary coronation. Crowned crazily in their absence at Old Trafford by the bottom club in the league. West Bromwich Albion may well fall, but they will fall as kingmakers. Jay Rodriguez got the goal, which in the end hands the title to City and leaves those bedraggled fans with something to cheer. Mourinho disappears in a hurry, beaten on the day and beaten over the season by his neighbours. West Bromwich Albion win it, curiously, crazily, by a Jay Rodriguez goal to nil. Following a week to forget that saw Manchester City get knocked out of the Champions League by Liverpool and having blown the chance to win the Premier League last Saturday after suffering defeat to Manchester United, Pep Guardiola's side were out to end a three-match losing streak with a win over Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley. City showed early intent against the side they beat 4-1 in December as Sainz Valley hit the post in the fourth minute. It would take the visitors 21 minutes to assume the lead after a fabulous pass from Vincent Company. But here is Gabriel Jesus onside away from Sanchez. Jesus scores and City lead at Wembley. Two minutes later and the referee was pointing at the penalty spot for Hugo Lloris's rash challenge on Raheem Sterling on the edge of the penalty area. Ilkay Gundogan took the spot kick and made no mistake to give City a two-goal advantage. It proved to be another compelling contest in the Premier League as Spurs managed to pull a goal back just before the break. A perfectly timed through ball from Harry Kane found Christian Eriksen and the Dane did the rest. Guardiola could not contain his frustration. At half-time, City led 2-1. The spotlight was on Sterling in the second half as he squandered a golden opportunity to restore City's two-goal lead. However, minutes later, he made amends after finishing off a gold mouth scrap. It came to Laporte! Down goes the race and Sterling slams it in! The 3-1 victory moves City just one win away from collecting the title this season, dependent on the results between Manchester United and West Brom on Sunday. All right, so congrats to Manchester City for winning this year's English Premier League. Their game against Tottenham over the weekend and their 3-1 and then needed results to go their favour. That's the game involving Manchester United and West Brom. And Jay Rodriguez's uh, goal ensured that City won the title with five games to spare and seven, which is more painful, beating City at the ETR Stadium and then losing to a uh, West, uh, West Bromwich team that is uh, bottom of the table and then gifting the title to City. Um, I mean, doing the job as in beating Manchester City is one of our goals to do, um, but that doesn't matter. But that's not a trophy. That's not a trophy. But then you know that we, we had given away the title to mm. City a long time ago, but losing at West Brom at Old Trafford is quite disappointing. Um, it's not something that we should be doing. We've seen Manchester United lose against the same club when other managers have gone through. We should have been going through at the moment where we are playing good football, raising the hopes of your fans after beating your title rivals, the biggest club in the, I mean, the world, people say. And losing to West Brom, that's bottom of the table that's gifted City the the title is quite disappointing for United. And 23 titles in all for Pep Guardiola. What an amazing manager he is uh, since he started his football career in terms of coaching uh, at Barcelona. 23 titles. And now he's added one more to it. That's amazing. Fantastic. And, and more accolades to um, Pep Guardiola because of the fantastic job he's done coaching in um, three of the big European nations and dominating all the time mm. shows who he is and to do that as a manager it's not easy you can go to other places and he's, he dominated Spain people said that's his home is Barcelona he had good players he had Messi everybody Bayern Munich they said he had good players they said yeah. that what he had to do is to do it in England can he do it in, on a cold he's night at Stoke he's beaten Stoke City he's beaten all the clubs that we say that will stop him last season wasn't good for him he was dead but I think that was a way of him steadying the league and we've seen how he's done he's just stretched the gap and it was like Manchester City and the others mm. so now 16 points difference between Manchester City and Manchester United with five more matches to go. You think that they can finish uh, with the uh, 20 points plus, uh, you know, points? Yeah, it looks like they're heading there, and that's what they want. 
they've won the league already. All they have to do is to um, get something excellent. And Pep Guardiola being a man that doesn't like complacency and wants his team doing it excellently, I think he'll be going for that definitely. Mm, so the Manchester City and uh, Tottenham Hotspur game was one of many matches that we played this uh, weekend in the English Melee. Liverpool uh, were at home to Bournemouth. They won that game by three goals to know with all their three front men uh, scoring Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah and then Firmino. So in what other uh, matches that were played in the results? Well, interesting weekend that we had um, in the English Premier League. And we had um, Chelsea beating Southampton 3-2. Chelsea came from a 2-0 down to equalise and got their win. Crystal Palace also beat Brighton and Hove 3-2 at home. Huddersfield destroying Watford and they won 1-0. And um, Swansea City drew with Everton 1-1. Liverpool, as Benedict said, beats Bournemouth 3-0. And we had Tottenham Hotspur lose to Man City at Wembley. And also on Sunday, Newcastle beat Arsenal 2-1. And Manchester United lost to West Bromwich at home 1-0. And we have Monday, West Ham versus Stoke City. All right, so the English Premier League won over the weekend. The French League also won over the weekend. Paris Saint-Germain claimed the title uh, from Monaco. They defeated them by seven goals to one yesterday, as well as in uh, Holland, PSV also won the title from the defending champions. They defeated Ajax uh, by two goals to one. So it was a weekend of uh, winning Premier League titles. Now we wait to uh, see where it's going to uh, end in terms of the uh, Sp Spanish La Liga. Barca still up there. And the point difference between Barca and Atletico Madrid both won their games uh, over the weekend and seven has results of what happened in the Spanish La Liga. Well, we start with um, Girona hosting Real Betis and losing one goal to no. Sevilla drew with Villarreal 2-2. Barcelona beat Valencia 2-1. And Las Palmas lost to Real Sociedad at home 1-0. Leganes also beat Celta Vigo 1-0. Atletico Bilbao lost to Deportivo La Coruña at home 3-2. And also Ibar lost at home to Alaves 1-0. We have Atletico Madrid also beating Levante 3-0. Getafe also winning at Espanyol, one goal to nil, and Malaga losing at home to Real Madrid, 2-1. All right, so the Italian Serie A is also yet to be won. Already we know the three that have been won, so we are waiting for the Spanish La Liga as well as the Italian Serie A. So that's how we are in our program this morning. Join us at 2, our major sports bulletin, where we're going to show you more highlights and also more analysis on the match day 7 of the Ghana Premier League. I'm Benedict Osu, Seren joined me this morning for the program. We are back same time tomorrow with another exciting edition of the program. Until then, make your way to the My Joe Online Sports page and read more sports stories for yourself. Joy Sports GH is both on Facebook and on Twitter. Have a wonderful day.